especially for a young boy named Ryan. Hi, I'm Ryan. <laughs> Ryan is a kid with too much brains. I have a 4.6 GPA <laughs> in the second grade. <laughs> Ryan is a kid with too much brains and not enough friends. I have no friends. I have no friends. <laughs> More than anything, Ryan just wants to fit in with the crowd. This is the story of Ryan, a boy who learns the struggles of growing up the hard way. We all remember that one kid. That one kid that tried to sell you <laughs> on Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> no? Just me? Okay then. Or for you, he might be the one to claim that he's Hitler's descendants! <laughs> no? Just me then? Okay. However, Ryan is the new kid in middle school, and although he may not be that weird, he still has a lot left to learn. This is Finding Ryan by Dave Cameron. Life is tough. Ryan experiences toughness when he tried to make friends. Hey, Tyrone, you want to be my friend? Boing, 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 boing. <laughs> nah, man, you're weird. <laughs> oh, come on, Tyrone, we can be good friends. I said, nah, man, what's with these new kids? <laughs> oh, man. <gasps> Hi, Ashley, <laughs> do you want to be my friend? <laughs> How do you know my name? Anyway, it's against cheerleading rules for us cheerleaders to be friends with new kids. Especially new kids who are geeks. <laughs> oh, man. Ryan couldn't deny this because he wasn't back a new kid. And he also wasn't back a geek. Well, I am the new kid at school, and I don't want to break any rules. So therefore, I just won't be friends with her. Oh man, but I wish I had a friend. Just one friend. Hello. <laughs> My name is Glisnov. Hi! What do you want from me? I would like companionship. If you please. You mean, you mean like a friendship? Yes. An alliance. <laughs> yes! Yes! Yes, I made a friend. No, oh, it's just a good day. Look a happy day today. A happy day he was <laughs> He made friends with the Russian foreign exchange student Krishna. <laughs> they were inseparable. They did everything together. Because no one else would be their friend. However, they both tried their hardest to fit in with the crowd. The crowd goes crazy. <laughs> Try and dribble the ball. He goes to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ryan, you suck at basketball. <laughs> oh, man, don't rub it in Tyrone. Listen, man. Try another sport. Try ping pong. Geeks are always good at ping pong. We got pals, man. Playing ping pong. Okay. If you say so. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, you suck at ping pong too. Listen, man, <laughs> if you're bad at a game designed for nerds, you almost suck at all sports. Oh, man. If I'm not good at a sport, they don't never fit in. They don't come to me. I'm ghost hunting team. That's not a sport in America. Bad back lighting? No! <laughs> Moose lessening? No! <laughs> Vodka drinking? No! <laughs> that's not a sport in America. Listen, man, you gotta be serious. You really have to find some way to fit in. Why don't we? Turn out for the school play. Oh, good idea, Kristoff. So there they go. Off to embarrass themselves at the tryouts for the school play. <laughs> Hello, my name is Kristoff. I am auditioning. Here is a monologue. To be or not to be, letting me your ear, all the world, <laughs> eh, Hamlet, et to Shakespeare. Good. 
You make like six different plays. You try giving mono to directors. <laughs> mono? It's <laughs> supposed to be monologue. That's, this is what I mean. Go ahead. You try. Okay. Go to B, maybe. I'm in B. Or, or not to. Go I give up! Hard times it was for Ryan. He fell into a depression. He only had one friend, and he didn't fit in anywhere. However, the next step on this bumpy road for Ryan was learning about love. <laughs> Ryan had never been in love. For the first time ever, Ryan thought he had fallen in love. <laughs> oh, I just love Ashley. I'm going to write her a heartfelt love letter. I'm going to put it in her locker. Right here. What's this? Dear Ashley, I love you. From Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Ashley. I see you got my love letter. First off, my eyes are up here. Oh, sorry. Um, I was wondering since I'm not the new kid at school anymore. You want to go to prom with me? Sure. Really? No, sorry. I'm too shallow. I would only go to prom with you if you were like captain of the football team or captain of the ping pong team or the end anywhere. But you're like not the captain of anything. Except maybe the captain of loners. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Let's meet till I ask you to put on. Hello. <laughs> 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 Will you make me happy? Like, fish in water and go to prom with me? Christian! That's the teacher! <laughs> oh, sorry, you're right. I shall ask the principal then. <laughs> <laughs> Brian! Forgot about his family. He was scared to talk to his parents, especially his father, because his father was the most successful doctor in the country. As a kid, Ryan's father knew exactly what he wanted to be when he grew up, and when, he, and when that time came, he became just that, the doctor. Oh man, what do I want to be when I grow up? A doctor, a lawyer, a businessman? Well, there's just so many options, and I just don't know. My dad knew what he wanted to be when he was a kid, and me? I just don't know. Why don't you try asking your father for advice? That's a good idea, Krishnov. As scared as I am to do so, I'm just too upset to care. I'm gonna go ask him. Dad? Whoa. Who are you? <laughs> your son? Ryan? Oh, sorry. I was confused because you never talked to me. Is this about that kidnapping at school the other day? There was a kidnapping at school the other day. Yeah. He woke up. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Oh. Well, I just don't know what to do with my future. And I know that I had the best grades in my class, but I don't have any friends. No girls like me. And I don't fit in anywhere. I feel like my life is going to be terrible. Especially because I don't know what to do with it. Well, what do you mean? You're just in high school. You don't need to know what you want to do yet. Yeah, but you know what you wanted to be when you were a kid. Don't follow my example. I was a comedian. <laughs> Listen, you can do anything you want, and you'll always have the support of your dad. But I want to grow up and live, like, ex live up to everyone's expectations, just like you. Listen here, son. The only thing that defines success is how you feel in your heart after you do something. So it doesn't matter if you have no friends, no girls like you, and you don't fit in anywhere. Just know that you always the support of your dad. It was at that moment when my dad said those words to me that I realized the most important thing in the world. I realized that no matter what I did with my life, that I'd always have to support my dad. And I guess Krishna. <laughs> and that everything was going to be okay. And as I got older and older and older, I realized that what my dad said to me was right. That the only thing that defines success 
is how you feel in your heart after you do something. And well, yes, life sucks, but in the end, it was successful. And just like that, the story of Ryan, and it happened.